Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is writing equations. I think this one's pretty easy. There's a little bit of a twist to it, especially when we have subtraction. Those kind of uh, work backwards. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. Okay, so our question here is how do we write an equation to represent a situation? Okay, so real common errors is one of these, you guys. So which one is true? Simplify equations and solve expressions or solve equations and simplify expressions. Okay, so we solve if there's ever an equal sign. So an equal sign would be when there's an equation. So this is the one that's true. We solve equations and we simplify expressions. I often see, um, uh, let's see, I'm a Facebook guy, as you guys know it. Um, uh, you can find Mr. MathBlog on Facebook. Anyways, I see something like this. So two or three times uh, 2 squared or something like that and people say solve that. Well that's an expression. If there's no equal sign this would be simplify this. So if people say solve this, if there's no equal sign then they're making a mistake. We would simplify that. And sure an equal sign appears when you say that equals and to simplify this you got to do this first. 2 squared is 4 and then 3 times 4 is 12. So if we simplify this, this would be 12. Okay, and we solve equations. Okay, and simplify expressions. Alright, so here we go. Our farmer recently spent $1,650 on a new fuel tanks. The tanks cost $275 each. Write an equation that could be used to find the number of tanks T uh, that the farmer bought. Okay, let's answer a couple of questions here. So let's underline the information that we need to write the equation. Okay, so the farmer spent $1,650 uh, on tanks, and each tank cost $275, and we're going to represent T for the number of tanks. So we'll use these three pieces of information to write our equation. So what expression could we use to represent the cost of tanks? Well, if T is the cost of one tank and we're buying T tanks of them, you guys, I'm sorry, if $275 is the cost of one tank and we're buying T of them, then we had, we'd multiply those. So it would be 275 times T. All right, so let's go ahead and write an equation for this situation, okay? So, so the cost per tank times the number of tanks equals the total cost. Okay, so the cost per tank. How much does it cost per tank? $275 each. Okay, times is just a multiply symbol. The number of tanks, well we don't know, so we're going to call this uh, T right there. Uh, is going to be our number of tanks equals uh, the total cost. Okay, the total cost is how much that farmer spent. $1,650. Okay, all right, so an equation that can be used to find the number of tanks would be 275t equals 1650, okay? Now remember, if there's nothing in between the 275 and t, it's understood to be multiplication. So this says 275 times t equals 1650. All right, let's try this one here. Sophia. Uh, is making a recipe for cookies in her class. I love cookies that calls for three and a half cups of chocolate chips. Her mom already has a bag of chocolate chips open uh, that she's going to use that uh, is two and a quarter cups. So write an equation that could be used to find how many more cups, and we'll call it C, Sophia needs. Okay, so so the cups filled. Okay, so uh, plus uh, so the cups filled. We're going to have two and a quarter cups full already plus the cups needed so that's going to be this uh, C how many more cups are going to be needed will equal the total cups for the recipe okay and so uh, and her total cups uh, is going to be that whole three and a half uh, uh, cups of chocolate chips okay so the cups filled is that two and a quarter right there because she her mom already has that much plus the cups needed, okay, how many more cups do we need? We're going to call it C right there, okay, equals, um, put the equal sign there, the total cups for the recipe is that three and a half right there. So so there's our, our equation. So an equation that can be used to find that the total number of additional cups C is going to be two and a fourth 
plus c equals three and a half right there. Okay, easy, huh? All right, so describe another equation we can use in that last one with Sophia and her cups. Well, in the last problem, we came up with two and one fourth plus c equals three and a half. But this is called the commutative property of addition. These guys commuted around the addition sign, so they're equivalent statements. So we can write it as c plus two and a fourth. That's what this says, equals three and a half. Or we can take this three and a half right here and subtract c, and that'll give us two and a fourth. Okay, or we can do three and a half minus two and a fourth, and that'll give us how many cups C. There's another equation that we didn't write down, but that would that one would work. Okay, so write an equation for this word sentence. Uh, six fewer than a number is 5573. Okay, so I uh, think um, uh, uh, we're going to let n represent our unknown number, and the phrase fewer than. What does fewer than to you mean? Well, to me, that means subtraction right there, okay? So six fewer than. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky. When it says fewer than, you guys, okay, well, there's the 55.73, and there's the is. Is means equal there. And fewer than means subtraction, so we're going to have that. So does, is it n minus 6, or is it 6 minus n? Subtraction kind of works backwards, you guys. When it says 6 fewer than n, the 6 goes here. And so here's the general rule right here. The expression n minus 6 is 6 fewer than. So if I say, for example, say I had 6 fewer dollars than Bob, then that would mean I would have whatever Bob's money is minus 6. Okay, so 6 fewer than means we're going to write it as n minus 6. Okay, the expression 6 minus n means n that's fewer than 6 right there. Okay, so we're going to do 6 um, fewer than n is going to be n minus 6. Okay, all right, so the subtraction kind of works a little bit backwards on that. Two thirds of, two thirds, fraction 2 over 3, of, of means multiply in math. The cost of a shirt is, is means equals $18. Okay, so let's see, represent, uh, we're going to represent the cost of the shirt. Okay, and the word of means multiplication. Okay, so two thirds of. Uh, the cost of the shirt is 18. So we'll represent this as two-thirds, the fraction, times the cost of the shirt, which will be C right there, is is equal, and then 18. Okay, so there's two-thirds times the cost of the shirt C is, and then put the 18 in there. So there's our equation right there, okay? So write two word sentences for each equation here. So y plus 15 equals 24. Well, there's one right there. y plus 15 equals 24, okay? Or this, uh, let's see, they kind of set us up here. The blank of y and 5, okay? The blank, the, the addition of y and 5, but addition probably won't fit in that small space. So what's another word for addition? It's three letters, so it's the sum. The sum of y and 15 is, is is equal right there, so the sum of y and 15 is 24. 15 blank than 5, okay, so 15 more than, uh, did I say 5, than y, so this is going to be 15 more than y is 24 right there, okay. All right, so division, you guys, division is, um, um, this one's here, so this one says h divided by uh, 0 0.2 is 40. Okay, there's is right there. This one here is going to be the quotient. Quotient is our magic word for division. The quotient of of h and 0 0.2 is 40. Okay, and then h divided by 0 0.2 equals 40, okay, or is 40, okay? All right, so explain how we can rewrite the equation m plus 8 equals 24 so that it involves subtraction rather than addition, okay? So the sum of m and 8 is 24, so 24 minus one of these is going to equal the other term right there, so we can rewrite that equation as 24 minus m equals 8, or we can say 24 minus 8 equals m. I didn't write that, but we can say 24 minus 8 equals m. Okay, one student wrote 18 times p equals 54 for the sentence. The product, product means multiply, of 18 and p equals 54. Another student wrote uh, p times 18 equals 54 for this same sentence right here.
here the product of 18 and P equals 54. Are they both correct and justified? I'm going to say yes, you guys, because the commutative property of multiplication says that 18 times P is the same as P times 18 right there. Okay, so, so one student wrote 18 times P and the other student wrote it as P times 18 equals 54. So both of those are okay by the commutative property of addition. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care. Hope you're having a great year.